Hey guys, welcome to the uh, first tutorial for our creating a spaceflight VR sim from scratch. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to launch Unreal. The version I'm using is 4.12 uh, Preview 3. I'm using the latest version just because it works best with VR. And uh, so let's see what we're doing here. Wait for this to load. So the first project we're going to create is going to be a first person shooter and it's going to have no starter content and I'll just put this on my SSD we'll name this VR space combat so we'll just create that All right, now we're just going to minimize that for a second and bring Unreal back, and we're going to start. An, we're going to launch it again, and we're going to start another project. We're going to start the uh, flying project, and the reason we're going to do that is we're going to export the uh, flying ship into our FPS project. It'll make sense in a second. So select flying in the blueprint, name it VR flight or whatever you want to name it. Wait for that to load. Now once that's loaded, we're going to click on blueprints here and select the flying pawn. We're going to right click it, asset actions, and migrate it. This looks good. Hit OK. And go back to our Unreal projects and go to the VR Space Combat one and select that folder and then select the content folder and hit OK and then we can close this and you can delete that project if you want but for now load up the um, space combat project we started and uh, click this little button here so all the folders show up and you should notice that there's the flying folders now so if you select the flying BP folder and click on blueprints you can drag the flying pawn into the world and then uh, if we hit play you can see that we can run around we have the flying pond there alright so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna make it so we can switch between these two ponds so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go blueprints here and then open level blueprint now we're just gonna click on the first person character in the world view and then right click in the event graph on the level blueprint and do create reference to first person character and then we're going to do the same thing with the flying pond that we put into the world. So select that, right click on the event graph in the level blueprint, create reference to flying pond. Now we'll maximize this, compile. And we're going to do a few things here. So we're going to make it so we can switch between these two. So we're going to do right click and hit 1 and click the keyboard event. And then do the same thing for 2. And then we're going to do right click get player controller now from off the player controller do possess now <coughs> select that control C control V then drag the two into it the one into it drag the player controller into the second possess node and then drag the flying pawn into the pawn for number one and the first person character into the pawn for number two Compile that and go into our world, save it, hit play, and now if we hit one, we possess our flying pawn. If we hit two, we possess our our FPS character. Now the controls for the flying pawn are currently a bit bugged, so we'll fix that. As you can see, there's no input axis thrust or no input axis move up in the because uh, this is the first person character, remember. The uh, first person project that we started and we transferred the flying pond to it. There's already turning because the turning is named move right, but we'll just fix that up. So go to the project settings, drag that over here, go to input on the left, and then go to axis mappings, expand that, 
and uh, so what we'll do is we have one called move forward so we'll change the input axis thrust on the flying pawn to an input axis move forward so right click type input axis move forward and then we'll just replace the nodes there just replace everything that the input axis thrust was connected to compile that save and then we have the move up this is to look up so we already have that as well so we'll right click we'll do input axis look up yes look up connect that to uh, what the input axis move up was connected to delete the move up compile that save compile our first person example map alright so hit play now if we hit one <coughs> as you can see we have uh, full control over our uh, flying pawn here. It's a little weird because it's part on the keyboard, part on the mouse, but we'll fix that up in the next video. For now, we can switch between our flying pawn and our first person uh, guy, and this should work in VR as well. So that was the first uh, tutorial on setting up our projects, and uh, see you in the next one where we set up the flying pawn to have better flight controls and uh, change the way that we switch between them so that the first person character has to go up to the flying pawn to enter it. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that first tutorial. Have a good one.